I'm feeling a bit old school today, so we're going to be making a film strip transition effect just like this. First, we're going to take our clip. I always use this Eiffel Tower clip because I really like it. Drop it on to create our sequence. And we're going to take our other clip, our London Bridge clip. Drop that bad boy on. First, you're going to go to your cut. And this transition is going to be about two seconds or 60 frames. So I have my nudge set to 10 frames. In another tutorial, I had it set to five frames. If you want to change that, you can just go to Edit, Preferences, Playback, and change Step Forward, Step Back, Many to 10 frames. Okay? So Shift, Left Arrow to Step Back 10 frames. We're going to do that three times. We're going to make a cut. Now we're going to go over six times to the right. I lost count, but that looks like six times. And we are going to nest these sequences. Great. OK. We're going to jump into our nested sequence. And first things first, we are going to create a replica slash mirror effect. So we're going to go to replica. And we're going to go to effect controls. Set that bad boy to three. Okay. Now we're going to go to effects mirror. And I already have the preset. We're going to drag mirror onto our clip. And what we're going to do is we are going to start mirroring these. So drag the first one in from the left until they meet the center. Okay. Great. Now, copy paste. We're going to do this four times. Change the reflection angle to 90. This one's coming from the bottom. Find that seam. Perfect. Copy, paste. Set this angle to 180. This is coming in from the left. Drag it over until they meet. Come on now. OK. One more time. Angle 270. If you're asking how I know all these angles, uh, I just talked to Miss Washburn, eighth grade geometry. I got a B plus. OK. Perfect. All right, now that we have this effect, what I want you to do is, so we don't have to keep doing this, I want you to save this, replicate, mirror, mirror, mirror. Save that as a preset mirror. So we're going to do it right now on the other side. We don't want to keep doing it because that gets annoying. So save that as a preset. I already have mine saved as a preset. I have a 1080 mirror. Drag that onto the London Bridge. And there you go. OK. Now that we're in here, we are going to add a new adjustment layer. Drag that on top. You'll see in a second, but I drag it three tracks above. And we're going to add a transform. If I can spell it right, transform. Perfect. Go to your effect controls. I'll make this a little taller so you can see it better. And we're going to set the scale to 300. Set a keyframe, shift right arrow to nudge over 10 frames. Drop this down to something like 220. Don't worry that you can see the mirror edges. We're going to fix that. Go all the way to the end. Set that to 300. Shift left arrow to go back 10 frames and set that to 220. And now what I want you to do is make these easy ease. So first one, ease out. Second one, ease in. Third one, ease in. Fourth one, ease out. OK, so we got the zoom out and then a zoom in. Zoom out, zoom in. Great. OK, now comes the fun part. So I've supplied two film strips for you guys. One has gray bars 
in where the perforations are. The other, you, won't, you can't see it now, but they're transparent bars. Um, what you can do with this is you can make a color mat, put it underneath the film strip, crop it so you, you know it doesn't mess with the rest of your clip, and then you can have whatever color you want in your perforations. I like the gray. All right, so now what you do is you drag your film strip on. Make sure you're in the zoomed out portion. You go you scale down the film strip so you can see it. There we go. So that's 46. Let's just make sure 46 is right and 46 is going to be right. Okay, great. So now you have this effect where you zoom out and zoom back in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a texture. I got this one from textures.com. I really recommend getting an account there. It's free. You can download about 10 to 15 textures a day. It's excellent. So we're going to set the blend mode here to color dodge on the opacity. We're going to start at zero, shift right arrow to go 10 frames. Bump this up to something like 20, so you can see it, but it's not super. Let's go 30. Yeah, that looks better. Go over all the way to the right. Shift left arrow, set that keyframe of 30. Shift right arrow back to zero. I want you to do the same thing with the keyframes. Ease out, ease in, ease out, ease in. Great. So now we have this film strip and this texture that comes in. We're going to go back out to our nested sequence. Now let's animate it. You are going to grab the offset. I always spell it wrong. I don't know how I can spell offset wrong. Go shift right arrow, nudge over 10 frames. Set a keyframe on shift center 2. You're going to go over to all the way to the right, shift left arrow to go back 10 frames, and set another keyframe. And now you're going to drag this over to the right as far as you can go. OK, we stopped. We want to go back to the left so we can have a full frame in the picture. Great. Mine's at 31,600, so that's going to be about what yours is. Now what I want you to do is, you know, make these easy ease, ease out, ease in. Always make your keyframes easy ease. We'll just look better. Trust me. Now we're going to find Gaussian blur. We're going to drag that bad boy on. Go to effect controls. We're going to change this to horizontal, repeat edge pixels, and set a keyframe of the blurriness. Now go to around the middle, kind of where the cut is exactly where the cut is and blur that bad boy out. You don't have to go too crazy, just a little bit. And go to your last keyframe over there. Bring it back down to zero. Now make this ease out, ease in. You don't have to mess with that middle keyframe. Now let's watch it. Excellent. So I have one more step for you guys. Uh, I grabbed this sound effect off freesound.org. You can do the same. And what we're going to do is get that nice film reel sound, drag it to the beginning. Let's bump it back a little bit. Great. And you're going to drag this on twice because we want that click sound at the end as well. And you're going to cut it, get rid of that. Let's drag this a little bit over. Control D to add a constant power. And you want to control D this one as well to fade it out. Let's listen. Great. And there you have it. A film strip transition done entirely in Premiere Pro. 
Very simple, automated. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, please just don't tell my mom. I'm going to be trying to do about two of these a week. I'm trying to do new and creative transitions directly in Premiere Pro that I haven't seen anyone else do before. So thank you, and have a great day.